Hello friends, welcome to Abhyas Training Institute. And in this video, we will be building a hub wave rectifier and will determine the minimum and maximum value of this waveform. So like if any waveform is there, how we can determine the minimum and maximum value. So it's not like a, we have a few metrics form of things or vector from where we are trying to determine the minimum maximum value. But if we have a waveform like a, a rectifier waveform or a sinusoidal signal, how we can determine a minimum and maximum value. OK, so let's see how we can build a hub wave rectifier. And OK, then, so to build a rectifier, first what we will do, we will open that box okay so once this box is open we will open a library box uh, library block as well so what component we will need to build it so we know we will be needing a voltage source so we'll get an ac voltage source from there okay so ac voltage source we will take so first we will place all the component so i hope you know about the rectifier then we will be needing a ideal transformer okay so we'll be having an ideal transformer over there then we will be needing a, a diode all this component you will be finding here in as we have discussed in last video in fundamental in electric element then we can find a diode if we want then we have a register over here we can find a register and what else we need we need to pull the sense okay ground as well electrical reference will be needing Okay, so all the components that we are needing, first we will put over here, then we will connect. Then what we will need, electrical, then we'll need sensors, yes, current sensor, but we will need voltage sensor. So we are having a voltage sensor. Okay, so let's connect those quickly. So I have done the connection for hub wave rectifier circuit. We have the diode whose cutoff voltage will be 0.6 volt. Then we can change the value of this resistance to 100 ohm. Okay, so we are having at 100 ohm and let's keep this value to 10. So this what it will do, it will convert that AC signal into the DC, but with the help, uh, but as a hub wave rectifier. Okay, so let's, measure this voltage what we will be needing we will need a ps a physical simulink physical simulink converter so we will have that converter over here we will connect it then what we will be needing will be needing a sync sync means scope let's change the number of input so we have already seen how we can change the number of input so now we are having a two input but which two input we will be seeing control c i will do i will do control v as well and we'll measure this so i guess our data is ready and i will run this for one second only because frequency is 60 hertz otherwise it will be a lot of data so now you can see we are having one error because we have not uh, involved the solver configuration so we have to take a solver configuration as well so we'll connect this so this is the hub rectifier circuit how it's look like so we are having a voltage source then we are having a voltage sensor and this is our load register okay so let's run this simulation you can see we are getting two waveform over here this one and this this is ending over there so let me zoom it for you if I zoom over here, you can see this two color, right? This two color sources like a PS converter one and two. One is our hub wave rectifier circuit. So you can see in negative half cycle signal is zero and positive half cycle, we are getting this value, okay? And here you can see a difference of 0.6 volt because, and that is due to the drop of diode. So this is how we can get the, how this is how we can build a, hub wave rectifier but what if we want to determine this peak value so if you go to browse your library and will search for maximum value okay minimum maximum you can see this minimum maximum block here we can determine minimum maximum box uh, signal okay if i will connect this over here and i will put sync at display okay so it should give us a value uh, something like 9.3 right because it should give us a, a maximum value, but it will not give, it will give us zero. Why? Because it will give a last uh, 
value of this point that is <coughs> zero only so what we have to do we cannot use this box so we have to search for another box if we can use for minimum maximum so here you can see running reset label so we have to use this box to determine the minimum maximum value of any waveform so this u is a waveform uh, like for which waveform we want to determine the minimum and maximum value and from drop down we can select the maximum so it simply output of minimum all past input u the output is reset to initial condition when reset input r is true so this is the uh, logical signal and that will be true or false if we want to reset this value like if we want to determine the minimum maximum value during any interval so we can uh, have that and we'll be getting a minimum maximum value okay so for now just what we will do we will put this box and we'll click here then we'll run this simulation and you can see we are getting a value minus 9.66 and why it is showing in minus that we have to see okay it's showing minimum we have to get a maximum value okay sorry for that then we will be running then we'll be having a 9.3 so this is the maximum value and this is our rectifier signal right so this is how we can build a hub wave rectifier so i hope you understand this and then we can determine rms value by dividing this okay so let me do it as well so we'll go there we'll have a math function sorry not matrix math function then we can have a divide what we'll do we will take this maximum value then we will take a constant so we'll go to sources and we'll take a constant and we'll connect this and divide it by two so it will give us a rms value then we can connect over here then it will be our rms value for hub wave rectifier we know rms is equal to b max means maximum divided by two so it will give us a rms value so this is how we can determine the parameter of hub wave rectifier as well so i hope you got an idea how we can build a hub wave rectifier if you have any doubt please let us know in the comments